Hello everybody, my name is Ukmar and this is Hot La Mode. Today on Hot La Mode, I'm going to be doing a roast of social media influencers looks. I've been planning on doing this for like a couple of weeks now and today I'm going to be doing Maddie Bragg. I actually don't know her, I don't watch her videos, I just know that she is like an up and coming YouTube starlet. Not that she's up and coming on YouTube, but that she's up and coming in like the celebrity circle. I also know she's kind of like really cute and fashion worthy, so I thought why not talk about her. Personally, I really don't know much about her, I just know that I saw her Instagram and I was like, oh, this is low-key really poppin', so I thought I would definitely check it out and talk to you guys about it. I think that social media influencers are going to be the new celebrities for the future, so I thought why not start talking about them and become the Joan Rivers of social media because that's what I think I do best. And I just kind of picked the most recent photos that I thought were like fashionable. Some of them like just weren't fashion related, so I picked the ones that I thought were actually cute. So the first one that I'm going to be talking about is Maddie with one of her friends who is a model. I saw, I think she's like signed to IMG. So I know that Maddie's wearing this black cardigan. It's actually Loki super cute. She doesn't look like she's wearing underwear. Totally acceptable. I highly recommend not wearing underwear if you want to fit into pants better. Personal opinion. But I also think cardigans are cool. I think they're like coming in because like Balenciaga did them where they were like off the shoulder a little bit. So watch out for cardigans, I think they're gonna be cute. And she's wearing that with like little crop tube top, love that, super easy. She's like simple and basic and like not like basic basic, but like fashion basic, which is totally fine and like good for her. Mind you, she's wearing a fucking bomb ass Balenciaga pair of buckle boots in the white. Love those, um, always and forever Balenciaga bitch, except when Alexander Wang was there, I hated that. Also, she's wearing a fucking cute-ass Louis Vuitton bag. Um, this is by Nicolas Gasquier. Also, something I've been noticing, like, all of these YouTube bitches, like, are popping in Louis Vuitton. I think, like, current Louis Vuitton, it's actually really good for them, and they should all get sponsorships, like, Amanda Steele and Claudia Zalewski, and, like, those girls should be getting, like, Louis Vuitton sponsorships, because it's low-key really cute on them. I like this bag a lot. It's very, like, California, LA, blogger bitch, so, Overall, this is a cute look. I'm about it. This first look, I'm going to yes, bitch it. Next is this pair of like PVC leather pants with the fishnet stockings underneath coming up over the shoulder. Then there's like a lace little top and like looks like a moto jacket of some sort. A, I hate moto jackets, so like that's the first thing. Like that shit gotta go. B, the lace top is like fine, it's nothing like crazy or interesting. Um, I personally don't really have a problem with this whole like fishnet thing going on. I think it's kind of cute. I know a lot of people are like, oh my god, that's so basic, like you're an Instagram thotty if you do it, but like, I'm low-key about it. Personally, uh, this is like a tough one for the second look. Um, I'm gonna go with just barely yes bitching, like it's just barely getting there. The next look is this very Louis Vuitton outlook. I think it's actually really cute. So it's your very like basic California blogger girl look, but mind you, it's cute. She's wearing again that black tube top. It doesn't look like a tube top actually. It looks like it has straps. So she's wearing these Forever 21 like striped pants, very like sporty chic, very in right now. I know these are from Forever 21 because I watched one of her videos and they were in them. So then again, she has that backpack, the Louis Vuitton backpack. I think it's kind of cute. I'm low-key really about it. I think it's very like California blogger girl. It looks good on her. I think she's totally rocking it. Good for you, Maddie. She also has her little Fendi pom-pom on there. Like low-key trying to bring the Fendi pom-pom back. Check it, I'm, I'm there for this. And then on the bottom, on her fucking feet, she has some bomb ass Louis Vuitton fucking heels. Let me tell you, these Louis Vuitton heels are cool as fuck. They have the Louis Vuitton logos on the heel and it's very blocky and chic. So this is a yes bitch look for me. So the final look is Maddie says that she is going to prom and she's gonna wear Dior. She said that she's always wanted to wear Dior to prom. Mind you, I don't know if that's true because Maria Grazia just got to Dior. So I don't know if like you wanted to wear Maria Grazia, maybe you wanted to wear Ralph Simmons. That's something I can appreciate not Maria Grazia. So let's get into like the look. I don't hate it. I totally don't hate it. I think it's a little bit wedding dress like. I'm not, you know, super into it. I've seen a lot of these Dior dresses. They're very kind of basic. Like they're very in with like the celebrity crowd who can afford them. 
Um, the shoes I'm not about. The shoes I'm gonna go with a hard no. Just because I don't love the Dior, like, little sling back heels that they're trying to push. I don't think that they're terribly cute. And this dress, I think the strapless is fine. I think that halter top look is cute. I just don't love the length of it. I think it's just very short, weird cocktail dress. It's like a, a really expensive basic bitch prom dress. So with this last Dior look, I'm gonna no grow it. So yeah, I feel really bad about that because it's her fucking prom look, but like, <laughs> it's fine. We can do better. So Maddie got three yes bitches and one no girl. But I mean, personally, I don't think that's terrible for the first time ever. So let me know if you guys enjoyed these type of videos. I don't know how you guys are going to react, but I think they're really fun. I like doing them and doing my research on my social media influencers. Also, if you like this, please like and please tell me in the comments just so I know because like some videos I don't get responses and I'm like, they fucking hated it. But also, if you liked it and you want me to talk about it more, tell me who you want to review or roast in the comments, because I can obviously do that. Like, check my fucking receipts. You know I'm good at that. So thank you guys for watching again, and hopefully you enjoy. You can subscribe to me here. You can subscribe to my other channel, Hot La Mess, which is like the new Vogue. That's how I'm currently calling it. It <laughs> might not be true. Um, I'm gonna have videos coming by April 3rd, so don't worry, it's gonna happen. I promise you're not wasting your subs. Also, you can follow me at Hot Lamote on Instagram and Hot Lamas on Instagram. They're two very different things. One is me dancing and the other one is a bunch of really cool fashion videos. So there's a lot going on here. Just take it all in. So again, thank you guys for watching and TTYL.